Is HDR still valid in 2023? Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramney. I'm a French photographer from the amazing, the incroyable city of Paris, France, but I live in the United States of America. And I want to show you a little experiment where we're going to take a crazy HDR photo that I shot years ago in Los Angeles, and we're going to process it with the latest version of Aurora HDR, with Luminar HDR, and with Lightroom HDR, and compare the result and see what are the strengths, what are the weaknesses, I'm actually going to give you the raw file so you can follow along with me because this was one crazy sunset in Los Angeles, California. So what is HDR? HDR is the ability to take different photos for different exposure. Check this out. This is the normal exposure. Incredible sunset. I was on, uh, on the highway in downtown Los Angeles and uh, I used to live in Los Angeles. So look at this photo. This, this photo was shot at 125 ISO F16 because I wanted everything to be sharp, including that little sign here and then one fifth of a second. Okay, then you have the underexposed photo. So it's a very short exposure. So now it's the same thing. It's 125 ISO. It should have been 100 ISO. I don't know why I put 125. F16, because I want everything sharp. And 120, so very fast exposure. Very fast exposure means there is not much light and it's very dark. And then we have the overexposed photo, which in this case is still 125 ISO, F16, and point at second. And basically, the reason we're doing that is that the eye can see all the details in the highlights and the shadow, but not so much our cameras. However, they're getting better and better and better. So how do we do this? You know, I know a lot of people bracket these days because they are, they're afraid not to get the right exposure, which is what I did. I mean, it was so crazy. When you shoot like right into the sun, the sun was just behind this building there. So we're going to start with the most famous AGR software of these days, which is Aurora HDR. So I'm going to select all three photos and I've installed the plugin from Aurora HDR, which is really cool. So I can just go export. Now, it's very important that when you use the, the um, plugin from Lightroom, you go to export and you go to Aurora HDR. You've got two functions. Edit a copy with Lightroom Adjustment. Do not use that or open source file. Why? Because you want to give the best possible information to Aurora HDR. And what is the best possible information? The actual raw file. So by doing open source file, it's going to send the raw file without doing anything to it and give it to Aurora HDR. And you can see here, we've got the minus 2.7 minus... I don't know why it's it doesn't say zero minus two plus two. Oh yeah, that's one thing I forgot to mention is there's two F stops between each photo. But anyway, it's probably because I underexposed. I was so afraid to lose this, this sunset that I underexposed everything. So you can see the underexposed photo is minus 2.7 EV. EV stands for exposure value, meaning it's you know it's an arbitrary run number that is minus 2.7. Then you have got exposure value uh, minus 0 0.7, which is actually the normal exposure. And then you have the plus 0.1.3, which is the overexposure. Okay, so you can see it's bright, it's normal, and it's dark. I can click here on auto alignment. I'm not going to use any other feature. I'm just going to create the HDR. And what that's going to do is now we're going to go into like a special setting to get the best out of the highlights and the shadows. Now, this software, to be honest, is known to do kind of an illustrative look with HDR which you can see here right away, you know, and you have like little presets you can go on, like vivid, and you just click one click, natural, glowing. You know, you can do a lot of things. I'm not gonna, this is not a tutorial on OSGR, but I, I'm just gonna do a few things. I'm just gonna go to an HDR natural, and then I'm just gonna add a little bit back more blue and a little bit more magenta, and then maybe a bit of contrast. And then there is still something I really like, which is HDR clarity. Now check out what HDR clarity does. Kind of the clarity in Lightroom, just a bit of HDR clarity. And then you have HDR smart, smart structure. I never heard that I'm French. Structure, structure, HDR smart structure. If you go there, it's going to give a really illustrative look. Like it looks like it's a painting, which you don't necessarily want. I'm just going to add a little bit of that. I think I want to add more magenta. I'm so crazy about magenta. It's not even funny. A bit more contrast. I really want to make it pop. And you can see the before, after. Yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. And if you just press apply, it's going to process the photo with the settings and bring it back to Lightroom. Boom. Here is the Los Angeles OIGR 2019. And I'm using the latest version. I mean, I'll tell you something about this kind of photography. And by the way, you've got the, the, the files down there. And I, and I really advise you to like, try to make a crazy edge out of it, post it on social media, just credit me as a photographer, but it's your retouching and it's my photo. And 
Funny story about this is that if you show crazy AGR like this to amongst nine other photos which are like normally processed, and you show that you show that to known photographer, there is a good chance everybody's gonna prefer that photo. And if you do the same thing, meaning you take just a couple of HDR and you put like normal photos and you show it to professional photographer, there's a good chance that they will not take this photo. Tell me what you think in the comments. By the way, I have an incredible video coming out on how to recharge wall file in Lightroom very soon using the Lake IQ3, but it applies for anybody who wants to get the best of his Lightroom. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can follow that thing. And let, tell me in the comments what you'd like to learn. Very important. I have a surprise for you guys if you're staying all the way. I'm going to give you a little present. I'm going to give you my free toolbox. The link is under the video and I'm going to free tools box is so much stuff, but the main stuff that is is preset. So I'm going to go here. You see, I have no preset. I'm going to go here and import preset. And just to show you the power of this, basically you're going to get all of that. There's so much stuff you're going to get. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Now let's do Luminar. So how do you do Luminar? Well, Luminar, the problem is that the plugin doesn't work well with Lightroom, meaning I cannot right click, export. If I do export Luminar Neo, even source file is only gonna export one of the files, not all three. If you know a way around it, leave me in the comments. What I did is I basically exported the three file into a folder called uh, Luminar Neo. So I just go here, I go to a hard drive, I go to a same, uh, no, choose folder, uh, picture folder, yeah, a picture folder, for example. No, uh, oh, no, okay. Specific folder, choose, and I, I have a, like a special folder called Luminar Neo, and I just export it as original, okay? And then I go to Luminar Neo here. Okay, don't show that, do not show that, okay? And I go to Luminar Neo here, and now I've got the three exposure, and I have the new HDR merge feature. I can click and drag this three feature and click on merge. And let's see what happens now. Okay, this is a test that I already did. This is some of the tests that I did, but let's double click on this. So right off the bat, it looks kind of cool. You can go to edit and um, okay, on this one, I'm going to add a little bit of enhance. And enhance is, is basically making the, the photo like more, it opens the, the, the shadows and it brings on the highlights. It adds more saturation. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna go to develop and just add a little bit of magenta and a little bit of blue like I did on the other photos. And then I'm gonna do something a little crazy, but don't tell anybody, because I'm trying to use every software for their strengths. I'm gonna use this crazy landscape. Look at this, landscape uh, adjustment, which really makes when sunset come crazy. So I kind of like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna export the photo and put it back into my collection in Lightroom. So for that, I'm gonna share it to the disk. Okay, so I'm back in Lightroom. So this is the Luminar version. I called it the Luminar. And this is the ORHDR, kind of darker. You know, it's hard to do the same retouching. Okay, now we're gonna do the classic Lightroom. So I'm gonna take all three and I'm gonna go here, photo merge, HDR. And then on this one, I'm just gonna go to the basic settings. This is, I'm not gonna do the ghosting feature. I'm gonna say none because I haven't done that. The ghosting feature actually could be useful on this photo, but I'm not doing it, is because the cars are moving between the photos. And so it's, it's, it's basically what it's doing is taking the underexposed photo so that the, the cars are very sharp. But I don't necessarily want that. I kind of like the movement of the cars. So that's why I'm not using the ghosting. And now I'm ready to do my classic work workflow, which let me reset the photo. You see, which is to basically open the shadow, bring on the highlights, do the black, do the white, okay? But you will see there's some real issue with, with this photo using uh, Lightroom, okay? I'm just trying to do like a very similar retouch to what I did on the other ones. Maybe a bit of clarity, okay, cool. Okay, so now this one is from Lightroom, so I'm gonna rename this one. To rename a photo, you just go to library module and you press F2 and you rename this photo. I wish it would work that you don't have to go to library module. It's every time it's annoying. So I'm gonna call it Highway Lightroom. Okay. And now we're gonna start comparing a few things. So let's compare Highway Lightroom with, this one is ORHDR. So to compare a photo in Lightroom, you just press C on a keyboard and it's gonna put them next to each other, okay? 
So I'm going to put a, a three star on the, uh, on the one from Lightroom and a one star on the one from Aurora. So I can see this is, I mean, you can see right off the bat, let's go full screen. You can see this is the uh, Luminar version and this is the HDR uh, Aurora version. And if I zoom in, look here, we have a big problem on the lights here. It did something really weird on all the lights, which it did not do here on, maybe if I had the ghosting effect off, it would not do that. But Luminar messed up on that. Now let's look around the highlights here. Uh, you see here, it's all burn. We have no more detail here, which would be a problem because if we print this photo, we have like, this would be paper. Here we have a lot more texture here, a lot more details in the highlights. Let's look in the shadows, like the darkest part of the photo. Yeah, I feel like, I feel it's kind of cleaner there. Uh, it's a bit cleaner. The Lightroom is a bit cleaner here. Here's a bit more muddy. Uh, but overall, I would say the photo looks kind of better from OHDR. I don't know, it's got this crazy look. And now let's compare the last two. So we're going to compare the one on the left is the Aura version. And the one on the right is the um, Luminar Neo version, right? So this is the one from Aurora. Let's look at the highlights. Highlights is pretty much the same. Uh, let's look at the car. The car good. There's no issue on the car. So Luminar did a good job. And then let's look in the shadows. Ooh, the shadow are much cleaner here than in Aurora. Luminar did a better job in the shadows. But overall, I think the, well, the Luminar give a much better result, but this one has more contrast. You know what? So I'm going to add a bit more contrast to the Luminar one so that it, it matches. Now, I want to try one more test. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the normal exposure and I'm going to retouch the normal exposure the best that I can. So the normal exposure is here. And then we're going to compare that to the other one. So Let's open the shadow, bring on the highlights. Let's do the black point. Uh, black point, what you see in yellow and orange is like a fully black point. Let's do the white point. And you know, when I have a crazy photo like this, I love to compare and try different retouching techniques. And I wanted to share that experience with you because sometimes you never know what's going to win. And uh, okay, and then same thing, I'm going to make it a bit more blue and a bit more magenta. Okay, cool. Maybe a bit brighter. So now we're comparing the, uh, so on the right side, you've got the Lightroom HDR and on the left side, let's go shift tab, let's go full screen mode. So on this side is just one exposure. On this side is all three exposure using HDR in, in Luminar. And check this out. The highlights are, so yeah, this is, this is the HDR version of, of Lightroom. Look at this. We still have the, we have this issue on lamps here. It's very clean on this one exposure, the highlights are a little, I think you have a little more texture here than in the normal file, which is normal. And then let's look in the shadows. The shadows are pretty clean on the one exposure. And then last but not least, I think my favorite is the Aurora one. So I'm gonna compare the Aurora one. I can only compare two photo at a time. So now we're gonna compare Aurora, which is on the left side, and Lightroom, one exposure on the right side. And let's look again, as we look at the highlights, a lot more detail in Aurora. By the way, if you want to, and this is not an ad for Aurora, but if you want to get Aurora, make sure you use my code, you get $10 off. Link is under this video. I, you know, I work with Lightroom and Aurora. I, I am sponsored by Aurora, but I didn't want to do this for them. I wanted to do this because I want to show you my, my workflow. But you know, if I can make a little bit of commission because you love this software, why not? But uh, I really think the Aurora is a winner, although I don't like this building. Tell me in the comments which one you, you like the most, because this one is kind of like over the top, kind of over retouch. This one is a lot more natural from Lumin from Lightroom. The problem is that I think this one will do better in gallery than the one on the right. Tell me what you think in the comments and I'll see you in another video. Mesdames et messieurs, au revoir.